Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this week we're going to talk about removing anodizing from aluminum. Um, I'll get into a little more about why one would want to remove anodizing or why one actually would anodize something to begin with as I go through the process. Uh, to start with, I'm going to show you two tubes here. This is a tube as purchased from McMaster Car. It's a 40 millimeter diameter tube um, that comes anodized. It's the only way they sell this particular tubing is already pre-anodized. You can see inside and out it's kind of just a little off silver, a slight different um, hue to the color. Now I've already stripped the anodizing off of this one and while the difference isn't huge in, in the visible um, observation you can see when the two are side by side there is a difference. The anodized one almost has a slight brown or gold to it uh, compared to the other one. When you feel them, you can actually feel the difference. The anodized one is really, really smooth. You can almost tell that it's a little harder on the outside than the unanodized one. You almost feel like there's more of a porosity to the outside of the, the one the anodizing has been stripped off. Um, so I'm going to set the one that I've already done off to the side and show you how we actually go about stripping that anodizing off. Um, as mentioned in my introductory video, uh, we have a small anodizing setup here at the shop. Um, I actually haven't used it in a little while, um, but one of the steps in anodizing is to actually make sure you strip off any existing anodizing and etch the outside of the aluminum. So one of my coolers here in my setup is filled with a um, a lye solution, sodium hydroxide solution. And this stuff is extremely, extremely caustic. Um, a couple drops will go right through your clothing. It's, it's nasty stuff. I think it's nastier than the sulfuric acid that you use for, uh, for the actual anodizing part of the process. Um, so up here you can see the bottle. It's something called, uh, the, the brand I use is called Duda's Red Hot Devil Lye. Uh, it's used for a lot of different things. I think I bought that on Amazon a couple of years ago. I use about a third of the bottle to about two gallons of water uh, here in the container. Um, I use a modified clothes hanger to hang my tube off of. I needed something small enough that would fit in this container um, and that also wouldn't react with the lye. A lot, of, a lot of metals and stuff will react with the lye, so you have to be real careful what you put in. Plastics are safe. Um, so what I do is I just take and uh, dip this tube down in the water, down in this lye solution. It looks perfectly clear. There's no sign at all that there's anything in the water. Um, and I just lightly move it around. I just kind of jiggle my hand, uh, take a glance up the clock because I, through trial and error, figured out this takes about five minutes on this particular metal with this particular mix of uh, the, the, uh, the lye solution. It takes about five minutes to get the anodizing off. Uh, and while that's doing that, I'll, I'll explain a little bit about why, why in this case we're, we're taking the, the anodizing off. Um, anodizing actually is a, an oxidation of the outside of the aluminum that actually makes the aluminum harder and more durable. Um, so it seems strange that one would want to take that off. Um, for this case, we actually are using this tube in a welded assembly. And with the welded assembly, in order to weld the, the uh, aluminum, you can do what they call bump welding on the anodizing. Um, the, the anodizing being harder is a lot harder to burn through. So the, the temperature has to get a lot higher on your uh, TIG torch to burn through it. And then you risk burning too much through the raw aluminum underneath. So by taking off the uh, anodizing, it will actually be a lot easier to weld uh, to the other material that we're using that's not anodized. Um, so that way everything will be in the same uh, condition, so it will be a lot easier to weld, get a consistent, good weld all the way around. Um, other reasons you might want to do it is you might want to strip it off if you want to change the color, um, if you want to do some, uh, even, even some light machine work on it. Uh, it's, it's a little more consistent to work with when the anodizing is gone. It's kind of like a hard candy layer on the outside of a M&M. &M. Um, it'd be a you know, similar idea of, of what the anodizing actually is. And when you're moving it around in here, you actually, if you look in, there's nothing much to see. The water gets just a little bit of a foam on the top. 
you see a bubble or two lift off once in a while. Uh, but there is a pretty severe chemical reaction going on. Um, you have to wear safety glasses where you do this. The lye, like I say, is extremely caustic. I've burned through aprons, I've burned through uh, pant legs. Um, it's, I, I didn't realize how careful one had to be. Um, I know they used it in soaps and stuff back in the day and thought, oh, this stuff can't be that dangerous. Um, I was wrong, this stuff can be quite dangerous. So you gotta be careful with it. Um, so we're about three minutes in now, it looks like on the clock. And you can already see most of the gold hue is gone. It's, it's almost completely silver. I'm gonna go just a little bit more to make sure it's all gone. This tank next to it is a tank of just distilled water. Um, and so I use that in between uh, my, my tanks and the anodizing to, to rinse my parts each time uh, to clean them all off. Um, one of the things on this is that this tubing is anodized. When you anodize it, it gets anodized inside and outside. So the inside surface and the outside surface um, actually are getting the anodizing stripped off at the same time. Uh, for the purpose we're using this for, the inside will actually be completely sealed when we're done. Um, that anodizing won't really do any good for us anyway. Um, we're going to powder coat the full assembly when we're done. So it's going to get a you know, different form of protection on the outside. Um, so it's, it's really not a big deal on this particular part that we're getting rid of the anodizing. Um, I've seen online where guys will want to strip anodizing off like a knife handle because they don't like the color and they want the raw aluminum. Well, when they do that, what they're actually doing is making it so their knife is not near as durable. Uh, the, the exterior of the knife will get banged up and scraped up and uh, you know, dented real easy. Um, Non-anodized aluminum is actually quite soft and very easy to mar up. So the anodizing isn't just about putting a pretty color on it. Um, you can, when you anodize, you can add dye and, and create a lot of nice colors. But it's also about protecting the part itself. So we're just short of five minutes there. The part looks really good, uh, just with the naked eye. Um, I'm not actually doing any kind of hardness testing on these. I'm just going off what, what visually I can see and what I can feel. So get as much of that lye solution off as I can. And then bring it over into the distilled water. And, and don't drop it. And I'm just making sure I got it rinsed real well inside and out in the distilled water. Uh, once I'm all done with these parts, I'll actually scotch bread all of them before we weld, just uh, get a, a consistent finish across them, get rid of any scratches or scrapes that are in it. Um, I left the anodizing on uh, until I was done cutting these to length and machining them square uh, for two reasons. One was um, I, they wouldn't fit my tank any longer than this. But the other was that hard coating actually keeps you from damaging the outside of the tube when you're putting it in a vise and uh, you know, moving it around and stuff. It's real easy to scratch up non-anodized aluminum, so that just helps protect it. So there we go. I, uh, part has now been had the anodizing removed. You can see there's just a little bit of a weird looking finish to it right now. Um, that's just the last of the oxidation coming off. When you wipe it down with a rag, that all comes off and it uh, looks nice and smooth and consistent. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned next week and see what we're up to next. Take care.